イギリスのクリストファー・パッテン国際顧問にお願いいたします。Imperial Highnesses,、uh, ladies and gentlemen,、uh, I'd like to follow what、um, Ambassador Lewis has just said so very eloquently.、Uh, each one of us, of course, is a citizen of our own country, but a reasonable and responsible sense of citizenship r e c o g n i z e s the bonds that we share. Across frontiers. Woodrow Wilson, the、uh, president of Princeton College, and perhaps even more important, the president of the United States, said about a century ago We're citizens of the world. The tragedy of our time is that we don't know this. I sometimes fear that. The same tragedy may be played out again in our own times. Yet, as global citizens, we share responsibilities and challenges. The problems that confront us can only be tackled successfully by working together. The opportunities in front of us can best be seized by common e n d e a v o r Our values don't carry passports. They're the same for all of us, regardless of ethnicity, race, religion, or nationality. The arts underline that. They always have and they always will. They help, help us to cope, they help us to dream. They inspire us to achieve. They remind us of our shared humanity. They teach us what it means in every country and on every continent to hope, to create, to love, to live, and to die. In short, they show us what it means to be a human being. I think that's、uh, above all why this great Japanese prize is so important. There's nothing at all in the world like it for the arts. So it's, it's a wonderful initiative that has been taken and continued by the Japan Arts Association. We honor the world's greatest artists. We congratulate the laureates this year. And in honoring them, we're reminded of what we share as men and women. They remind us of our shared destiny. And as the words of that wonderful canonical quartet in the first act of Fidelio remind us, life is so wonderful. Thank you.